the players from the Detroit Lions are being suspended for gambling. Now, not much has been released or, or said about what they did, what they gambled on. It, I don't know if it is as bad as they're making it seem because nobody got suspended a year. Jamison Williams and another player. Uh, Stanley Berryhill. Stanley Berryhill. They get six game suspension. And I'm like, right. six games? What did they do? And once the NFL started to allow gambling um, and they started taking money because of the gambling, you knew some – we always would bet on games. Just say, I'll bet you this, that y'all lose. I'll bet you whatever. Like – Michigan State would play Penn State. You you'd bet, or when we were playing, and I'm sure everybody else did this. It was man, if if anybody on the kickoff team got a tackle inside the twenty, everybody that was a starter on defense gave them a hundred dollars. So that that was a that was a ban right there. And if they got two, that was another hundred dollars. So they were getting two thousand dollars just for mm-hmm. making tackles inside the twenty, right. which. Technically, I don't know what's going on and where is this going to go, where, where are we heading. <clears throat> but Calvin Ridley being suspended a year, you would think guys would learn from that. What What's your take on all these guys? And two guys lost their job. They gambling, oh, we're going to cut you because you know what? Wow. We don't even want the headaches. So now we don't even got to answer because yeah. you, you out of here. Yeah, I think there needs to be like more clarification on exactly what is allowed and what is not allowed. Uh, I, I, TJ, I know you can remember that in the beginning of the season in training camp, the NFL, the PA would come in and they would tell you all the rules and everything that you could or could not do going into that season because, like, the, the CBA or the rules would change every year. So looking at this situation, from what I understand, uh, Jameson Williams and Stanley Burrill, they were suspended six games because they weren't gambling on – they weren't betting on football, but they bet – from the facility or a team hotel or even on a team or even on a bus traveling to a game. That's a violation of the, of the NFL policy, which I was unaware of. But, but, the, but the guys, uh, the Quentin Cephas, C.J. Moore, and uh, Shaka Tony those, uh, from the Washington Commanders, they were actually gambling on football, which I know that they know that is wrong. You cannot do that. You will be suspended. Man, how are they finding this? Is it because everybody has an iPhone? Man, and listen. So, from, so from what I understand is that these apps are tracked. You have to like turn on your location services, and the apps track you exactly where you're at, or exactly where you're gambling from, because some of these states is Ill- illegal. To 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 gamble and man, to these bet. These dudes better so, get them a, a chirp, man. Go back. They to They know Motorola. exactly where you. They know exactly where you're where you're, you're gambling from. But the, the crazy thing to me is what I don't understand. If you, if you're a player for the Las Vegas Raiders, you can't gamble within the facility, but you can walk across the street and gamble. <laughs> so those are the things that 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 really don't make any sense to me as far as the NFL policy. So you can't even. Uh, Pull up a DraftKings or a fan do in the facility and bet on an NBA game while you're in the facility, but it's okay for you to do it from your car. So th- there needs to be some clarification for the NFL. They basically put it out there. You can't even gamble in a hotel, in transit, in a team facility, or anything that has to do with anything. You can't even gamble at the NFL draft if you're a player or a player that's getting drafted that uh, that evening or that night. So, but as far as the guys that were spending for the year, C.J. Moore, Tony, and, and Quintez Sebas, they were actually gambling on football. And everybody knows that you cannot that's a do no, that. That's a no-no. But, but what I, th- I think what shocked everybody is that, you know, they didn't really get caught. They were actually tracked through their phone gambling at these team facilities or functions. And that is the most alarming thing about it all. Think about you getting that call, hey, man, you just been suspended for a year for what? Oh, man, you was gambling in the facility. Well, how y'all know that? They you weren't, trust me, they didn't, they didn't uh, volunteer the information. The, 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 these betting sites or these casinos probably – uh, volunteered the information to these uh, to to these organizations to let them know that these players were gambling 
within a, a NFL function or facility, and that's how they got busted. You, you know, you, you touched on the NFL PA will come in and tell you what's allowed and what isn't. I remember, man, and, and I'm sure your coaches did the same thing. When Calvin Ridley got suspended, if I was still playing and playing for Marvin Lewis, Coach Lou would get up in that Wednesday meeting as soon as Calvin Ridley got suspended and put him up on the screen and explain everything he did and what we are not going to do and why we shouldn't do it. And then he would give us a refresher on it as well. It's not like he would do it one time. I would guess probably every three, four weeks, right. Coach Lewis is going to put it up there, guys. We got to make sure. Like, And so I'm wondering, are, I would assume these coaches are still doing the same thing. Like, You got to constantly remind guys of – what you can and can't do, what you should and shouldn't be doing. And, and so I know what Marvin Lewis, anybody across the league got in trouble. That Wednesday, you was, you was in that Bengals meeting. And if other coaches were doing it, damn, we were in everybody's meeting then because we was getting in trouble left and right at that time. But it was just a constant reminder of what you should and shouldn't be doing. And, and this is another thing, too. It's funny, man, that – we're, we're having this discussion on this topic. A buddy of mine, uh, he, he bet on, I think it was uh, baseball or boxing, just random people. And he was like, man, I'm mad as hell, man. I lost, I think he said like $800. And mm-hmm. I start laughing at him. He, he, he's just a regular civilian, man. He actually, he live in Alabama. And the funny thing is, he's like, man, you know what's crazy? If I win... The money that I'm going to win is not enough to where I'm happy about it. I'm just like, yeah, I'm glad I won. But when I lose, I'm really pissed off about it. And I say that to say any amount that these players win because they make so much money, they're not going to be happy about that. It's just I won. It's a way to compete. But when you lose, you like, damn, I really lost. All right, I got to get that back. You not? Be- I don't believe they're betting enough to where when they win, they like, yes, I really won. You just like, oh, okay, I won. And so when you really, it's not worth it. You now, Jamison Williams and Barry Hill, you lose six games. Now you really losing money. <laughs> now you really lost the bet. <laughs> right. And so. It's not worth it, man, and especially a guy like Jamison Williams. You didn't play much last year from your injury, and then when you got back, it was late in the season, and they're looking forward to have. Now you got to miss first six games of the season. They can't even but, they can't even give you the reps that you need and deserve because they got to get other guys ready to go for the season. So uh, uh, when, when this happened, when, when I found out about Jamison Williams and uh, Stanley Burr here, I don't really think they really understood – the policy of what nah, they understand gambling is because they they, they understand flex. football. You they, think so? I'm assuming because Dan Campbell is a former player. He sat in so many meetings about how these the do's and the don'ts of. I'm sure he goes over this every Wednesday. I guarantee he go. It's not just don't gamble on football. It's don't gamble, period, when you're at an NFL facility. Guarantee he's going over this. I guarantee he is. And, and it's the, the part that I, I get it, I don't like it, but I get it is because Jamison can play and they deem Barry Hill – um, an asset to the team, they get a suspension. Quinn Cephas and the other guys go find another team. They get released. And, and so that's the thing where guys got to understand, man, if I'm hanging out with Plexico Burrs and we both get in trouble for doing the same thing, guess what? They're going to keep Plax. TJ got to go. They're going to let TJ <laughs> they let, <laughs> Plax, they let TJ go. Hey, if okay, me and you and LeVar, hey, if me and you and LeVar, if it's 2002, Mm-hmm. And uh, we do this. Uh, LeVar Erickson and Plexico Burris, they still have a job, man. T.J. Ushmanzala is looking for a job. He's getting released. And so these guys got to understand, when you are doing things, you can't get away with them or 
you may think you're going to get away with them, but you're going to lose your job and the money because yeah. Vegas, these gambling, they they win. They win the majority of the time. That's why <laughs> that's why it's out there. Like I just I just wonder how they how how this how this information came to them. Like via agent from the organization. If it's these or, gambling sites, they got to be careful now because they're giving out information that these players think are private and confidential. How are they finding it? That's a great point. How are they finding out this information? Because the apps track where you where you get. Hey man, when you download some, the maps, they be like, stuff. "Can we track your location?" I say, "No." They well for the gambling apps, they have to be able to verify where you at because uh, some states you cannot gamble. In. See, that's why I don't have none of that on my phone. When I gamble, it's a bet between you and I. I'm not mm-hmm. doing none of that. Nah. Well, hey Plex man, hopefully this will be another example of. What you should not be doing. Calvin Ridley lost he lost millions of dollars over I believe it was eighteen hundred dollar bet. Mm. Uh we call that where I'm from, we hustling backwards. You hustling backwards. <laughs> That's exactly what it's called. <laughs> so uh Jamison Williams, Stanley Barry Hill, and the rest of those guys, Quintez Seafish, Shock is Tony, man. Uh we wish y'all the best, man. Y'all gotta be smart, man. Y'all got to be smart. Nothing, nothing yeah. is held in secrecy. It's eventually going to come to light, man. We wish y'all nothing but the best, man. Y'all got to recover from this, but just stop gambling, man. It ain't – it's not worth it. You can gamble, it. just don't do it at a facility. Man, it ain't yeah. worth it. You ain't going to win it. You you think the money they winning is enough to be like, yeah, I'm really glad I made that bet. No. I mean, unless they some big-time gamblers. No, they some big-time gamblers. They money going to be gone eventually anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs>